Thank you for joining us today and for your support in addressing rising rates of congenital syphilis across the United States. This brief video will discuss what congenital syphilis is, the importance of prenatal care, and the critical role you can play in preventing congenital syphilis. You may find yourself asking, what is congenital syphilis? Congenital syphilis occurs when a pregnant person with syphilis passes the infection to their baby during pregnancy. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection, or STI, that can cause serious health problems, especially for a pregnant person and their baby, if it is not treated. A person can get syphilis through direct contact with a syphilis sore during vaginal, anal, or oral sex. If syphilis is passed from a pregnant person to their baby, it can cause major health problems for babies, especially if the infection is not treated during pregnancy. The impact of congenital syphilis on the baby depends on how long the pregnant person had syphilis and if or when they were treated for the syphilis infection. Specifically, congenital syphilis can lead to problems with pregnancy and birth, including miscarriage, stillbirth, premature birth, low birth weight, or death of the baby shortly after birth. Up to 40% of congenital syphilis cases result in stillbirth. For babies born with congenital syphilis, the infection can cause severe, lifelong physical and neurological problems, such as problems with the bones and face, thinking and learning, and with hearing or seeing. Why should you care about congenital syphilis? Congenital syphilis is on the rise in the United States, and more babies are being born with congenital syphilis every year. This means that more and more syphilis infections are not being detected and treated during pregnancy. In the past five years, cases of congenital syphilis have nearly tripled from 462 cases to 1,306 cases. A pregnant person is likely to pass syphilis to their baby if they are not treated for the infection. Rates of syphilis and congenital syphilis are rising in every region of the United States. Rates are especially high in the South and West, and rates are continuing to grow across the country. States in white reported the lowest rates, while darker shades of blue represent states with higher rates. Now that you know what congenital syphilis is and how it is spread, we want you to know that congenital syphilis is completely preventable by identifying and treating pregnant people with syphilis through prenatal care. Treatment is especially effective if pregnant people are treated early in their pregnancy. The CDC recommends that all pregnant people be tested for syphilis during pregnancy, ideally at their first prenatal visit, and again at the beginning of the third trimester and at delivery for those at higher risk for syphilis. If you work with pregnant people or people who may become pregnant, start by asking if they are receiving care. You can play an essential role in preventing congenital syphilis by talking with your clients about the importance of receiving prenatal care. Encourage early prenatal care. If your organization works with people of reproductive age, it is important to encourage them to seek prenatal care. The CDC recommends that all pregnant people be tested for syphilis at their first prenatal visit. Here is an example of what a conversation might look like. Are you currently receiving prenatal care? No, not right now. I don't really think I need it. If it's all right with you, I would love to talk through some of your options. Prenatal care is important for every pregnancy. Even if the pregnant person has had a child before or does not feel the need to see a healthcare provider, each pregnancy is different. Regular prenatal care guarantees that pregnant people are screened for sexually transmitted infections like syphilis and that they receive timely care. Healthcare providers can quickly identify and treat any risks to the baby and pregnant person. Educate on congenital syphilis. 
Inform clients about the health risks of congenital syphilis and the importance of regular prenatal care. In this fight, knowledge is power. Many people do not know about congenital syphilis and the risks posed to babies. If you work with pregnant people, talk to your clients about how early screening and treatment for sexually transmitted infections is an important part of a healthy pregnancy. Did you know that you will be screened for sexually transmitted infections as part of your prenatal care? Be aware of stigma. Before talking with clients, be aware of the stigma that surrounds sexually transmitted infections. Practicing empathy and understanding are the first steps in ensuring clients feel safe, heard, and understood, especially when discussing sensitive health topics like pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. Try to discuss sexually transmitted infections in a way that is sex positive, empowering, and affirming. Sex positivity values open communication that encourages people to make informed choices about sex and related care. Use person-centered language, focusing on the person rather than the infection. Be mindful of language use. For example, avoid using the word clean when talking about not having a sexually transmitted infection. Be prepared to connect clients with prenatal care. The goal is to help the client find a healthcare provider that they are comfortable seeing for prenatal care. As best as you can, try to address potential fears that clients may have about accessing prenatal care. You can help refer clients to culturally competent providers by preparing a list of providers and services in your area. Culturally competent providers value different cultures and beliefs, use appropriate language, and consider the diversity and needs of the communities and people they serve in the way that they treat patients. I would love to help you find some support. Here are some prenatal care options that I think would work well for you. We appreciate you taking the time to learn more about congenital syphilis and considering how you can help prevent it. This presentation was funded by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and was developed in partnership with the Research and Evaluation Group at Public Health Management Corporation and the National Network of Public Health Institutes. The information in this presentation is available in the references listed here. For more information on preventing congenital syphilis, please click on the links provided. For more information about congenital syphilis, visit www.cdc.gov std. For STD prevention support in your area, visit www.ncsddc.org ncsd-full-members. Thank you.